All right. So welcome to today's stand up. We are going to be sharing on two things specifically of what has been going on uh, since yesterday and also up to today. Um, well, some quick announcement before we get started. The people who did not submit their tracks confirmation, so that means if you haven't filled the form and submitted it, uh, please try to do it before um, before 10 a.m. UTC. Try to do it. Try to do it before they reach out to you. So, yeah, that's the very quickest announcement I have. Otherwise, we are going to start and we will go alphabetically. And we are going to be sharing the two things. So when you were sh filling the, um, the track, confirmation form what was your reactions did you feel like you are ready did you feel like you are ready or you are qualified to be applying for the roles within the tracks that you chose or it was otherwise also did you feel like what you chose before has to change today so like what were your reactions do you feel that you're qualified or do you feel otherwise and you might be in another track so just tell us the experience of when you were filling the um the tracks confirmation form and then number two we want to understand your progress on the cv design have you finished it or did you or did you already have one that you just edited how is the progress so far? Are you ready to submit on time tomorrow? Just let's share on those two things, the tracks confirmation and then the CV progress. We are going to go as Abel, Alexander, Aaron, and Basile. Abel? All right, can you guys hear? Yes, we can. Okay, so... So yesterday I was able to fill out the form and it, it was kind of informative in a way that uh, it kind of highlighted what skill I should be having in order to excel on that specific uh, track that I'm choosing. So personally, I chose generative AI and it kind of illustrated what I should be focusing on and uh, I kind of identified the gaps that I have to address before going to the interviews and so on. So uh, it was very uh, good uh, and thank you guys for giving us this form so that we can understand what we are choosing and uh, why we are choosing it. So on the CV part, uh, I kind of revisited, revisited my CV yesterday and uh, it has uh, the components that you mentioned uh, yesterday Pascal, but uh, also it lacks some sort of composure and uh, kind of symmetry and I'm trying to uh, make it in a way that you have uh, illustrated yesterday and I believe I can make it for tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, amazing. And a follow-up question. With the things that you realized you have to catch up on for you to be successful in applying for the specific role, is for the specific roles within Gen AI. Do you feel like you are ready to be addressing them up before starting to apply? Or do you feel like you might want to change the track to where I, you fit completely? Oh, okay. I, I definitely feel like I can address them before applying for the jobs. And uh, I believe I have basic understanding. It's just I'm not that confident about them, you know? Uh, I, I didn't reach the confidence level that I can say I'm very good at it or that I can excel at it. So that's, uh, I, I don't find those specific uh, topics or sections of the generative AI track. And I believe I have a plan to address them uh, within this week or the coming two weeks or a week or so. Okay, amazing. Keep it up, keep it up, Abel. Uh, let's hear from Abraham Addis. Hey everyone. Hi. 
so uh, are, are we sharing the update right i mean i just going here yes so we are sharing on two things first of all what were your react realizations after filling the trust confirmation form did you feel like you are very qualified to go with the trucks that you want or did, did you feel like you might want to change to a truck that you feel completely ready for instead of the one that you really want you know or did you feel like you're completely ready to go in week three and start applying that's the very first question and number two uh what's the progress on the cv design uh did you revisit the current one you had or did you had to develop a completely new one and how is it going uh so uh yeah so yesterday yeah, i basically uh what i have done is that uh i, I reviewed my, most of the uh, documents and slides uh, uh, given by yesterday's sessions and got uh, some uh ideas on how to improve my cvs I, and um, what I have planned is that I, I'm, I'm going to draft a new CV, but I'm going to uh, uh, keep some of the uh, work experience and skills that uh, I think is relevant for uh, the career path that I'm, I'm about to follow. And uh, to be honest, the, the career path that I have chosen, I, I, I feel like that I have to do uh that I, I need to uh put a lot of effort to improve some of the my skills uh and i'm i i'm i don't think i'm going to change or switch to another career path because uh the one that i have tried is something that i have been uh, planning for the past three uh, months and i'm just going to uh, keep working on the, the the career path that i'm going to that I have chosen. Okay, thanks, Adis. And uh, say it again. Wh which track did you choose? Uh, data engineering. Data engineering. Okay. Great. Uh, let's move on to Alexander. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, uh, yesterday uh, I filled the forms uh, that are provided by the next team. Uh, when I fill the forms, uh, I try to assess my skills and experiences, uh, mostly my selected track. Uh, so I, I already filled the, the forms and I plan to read and operate more knowledge about my tracks because uh, based, based, based on the forms, uh, I, I think there are a number of skills are required to me to be successful in job search role. So uh, I plan to read more and experiment about more the my career as the, the tracks that I will choose is generative AI. So I do more about generative AI uh, in my view. So uh, related to my track is this, uh, when it come to my CV preparation, uh, I read the, the materials that yesterday was provided to us uh, and try to understand much more on that. And I, I will already begin the CV preparation and incorporating most of the professional forms of CV. That's my update regarding to CV and my selected track. Thank you. All right. Amazing. Keep it up, Alexander, as well, as you feel okay. ready. Okay. Okay, uh, let's move on to Aaron. Aaron, can you hear us? 
Okay, yeah, you can share with us in the chat box. And in the meantime, let's move on to Basilel. Uh, all right, hey guys. Uh, hope everything is well. Yeah, so yesterday I, I did fill out the form. I think that, uh, as I was saying yesterday, it to some extent, uh, Jenny, I looked uh, pretty obvious in the selection because we did a lot of projects on it. And as I moved through the skill sets that you have to evaluate, uh, it became even more clearer that that uh, was the path that at least I wanted to pursue and I felt most qualified on. Uh, but uh, but yeah, and also that I I did notice that I lacked a bit or not just a bit, a lot more, especially on the data engineering front. So it would be difficult even if I get an interview to do anything useful. Uh, so yeah, after that, I did try to look through my CV. Um, it is it is uh, okay in some sense, but it lacks it lacks a couple of things. So yeah, there there are some things to work on there definitely. That's my pick. Okay, Basilel, uh, let's continue to be on. Okay, hello, uh, am I audible? Hello? Yes, you are, you are. Okay, so hello everybody. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, yeah, I feel the form and everything, but I, would, I was a little bit confused uh, to choose exactly what career track that, you know, I should do, or I should pursue. But since I'm more interested in machine learning, I just, made my first choice because um, initially that was what I was interested in and that was the sole reason I joined this program so I did not want to abandon it even though um, the AI and the uh, data engineering had sparked some interest in me but yeah so I think that one so I do not have any more questions but uh, yeah I hope uh, I hope I'm going to have a good luck with machine learning engineering and I will try to improve everything yeah. with all that. Uh, do you feel ready to navigate job search in machine learning though? Um, yeah, I do feel ready. I'm personally applying to jobs right now. Uh, normally, I do. And, uh, yeah. I'm getting positive feedback from I'm feeling uh, you know, more confident mm -hmm. than uh, before the time I joined the Ten Academy. So the thing that I got the most of it is the confidence to you know, take on challenges mm -hmm. and whatever the employers provide. So I feel like I am ready to face any challenges. Okay, thank enough. you so much. Yeah. Okay, thanks for sharing. Uh, let's hear from Daniel. Okay, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, just uh, I filled out a form, and uh, uh, I try. Uh, I would say that uh, uh, out of the given fields, uh, I found. Uh, generative AI more comfortable, yet uh, I am I'm still uh, not that highly confident. So uh, on the coming weeks, uh, I'm trying to just cover the concepts that are uh, confusing me and uh, I will try to catch up with, and I put my uh, metrics regarding to the uh, the the given fields. Uh, so uh, uh, regarding to the the my resume, uh, I explored the one that I have. Uh, that I have, uh, it lacks a lot of things. Uh, I try to just optimize some of them, but it is uh, it 
there are still uh, a lot to go. That's my update. Thank you. Okay, Daniel. Um, yeah, keep it up with that. I hope you won't take so much time because we do not, uh, I mean, it's like we are out of time. But one curiosity, aside from, or did you say it was Gen AI that you picked? Yes, it is, yes. Okay. Uh, aside from Gen AI, did you feel like there is another track which you are qualified for more and it won't take you other extra time for you to be ready to apply in its specific open roles? Yeah, yeah, just, uh, uh, I think, I think at the last of them, uh, I rated them accordingly. Uh, uh, I think machine learning is more closer to Gen AI and uh, regarding to Web3, it is more, uh, by far it is more vague and uh, confusing. So that is my, choice okay uh yeah let's see the kind of feedback we receive from the tutors uh regarding that um well thanks daniel uh let's move on to Elias and then aia Hello. Good morning, Am I audible? Elias, we can't hear you am i audible now Try to increase the voice again. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Am I audible now? Good morning. Okay, we can try to hear you. Okay. Uh, I'll try to raise my voice. Uh, yesterday, can you hear me now? Or should I write? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Yesterday, I tried to feed the uh, skill evaluation for. It was insightful in, in a way, and it was surprising in some other way, because it, uh, that I, I noticed that I need to improve and even add some skills. So the skills I already gained from the academy. Uh, I, noticed, uh, I noticed that the project gives me with special skills for the uh, Track that I took is an there. Mm, um, about the CD, I tried to look into my old one, and it has some components that you mentioned yesterday, and like some of them. Today, I have planned to work on them to try to improve my CD. Thank you. Okay, yes, uh, I hope you work on the microphone. We were struggling to hear you, but I think we got your point. Uh, yeah, look into the issue with your microphone. Okay, AI. Yeah, good morning, Pascaline and everyone. Uh, so yesterday, uh, I filled the, the form. Uh, but before that, I tried to research what uh, a junior Gen AI engineer will do. Uh, especially I was confused about the specific roles uh, from the list that Mehmet uh, gave us. Uh, the first one is AI researcher, uh, and that was, I think, not for me uh, because I have, I'm, I'm not experienced. Uh, so I chose the um, machine learning engineer and uh, AI software uh, developer, uh, but to get to that level, uh, I need to improve some of uh, my skills, especially related to uh, ML and NLP. Uh, other than that, as as a junior, uh, I believe uh, we are we all are qualified uh, from the uh, research I. So as a junior uh, Gen AI, uh, if we improve the machine learning in the NLP, uh, the, the rest we have we have uh, done good projects that will allow us to 
get um, a job as a junior junior uh, yeah so uh, after that uh, i try to work on my cv uh, the the current cv that i have is not aligned with the uh, uh, the checklist that you uh, gave us yesterday so i have to somehow uh, uh, convert it to uh, it so that it aligns with the, the checklist and i believe i might also uh, try a different uh, template so yeah that's what i did yesterday thank you all right yeah yeah that was a good realization big time and i believe we'll be hearing more feedbacks from the tutors regarding uh our tracks but yeah good realization and of course good choice we should be thinking that um of course there are the kind of career path we want and then there are the kind of career path that we are ready for and for now, we should be looking for the career path that we are ready for. Yeah, so good realization. And of course, um, you will be nailing the applications big time. Uh, so let's hear from Fenuel. Hi, Dr. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can, Fenuel. Okay. Uh, yesterday, my mic was a bit messed up, I think. But this one is clear, right? Yes, very clear. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. So to give you an update, uh, yesterday uh, I did fill out the form like everybody says. Uh, but uh, from what I realized from over there, uh, when I assessed myself in the you know mentioned uh, you know proficiencies in the different uh, libraries and uh, languages. So for the most part, I think I'm good when it comes to generative AI, but uh, I still have a long way to go when using the tools. I mean, we use Langchain and the other ones, but I think when it comes to training a model and fine tuning, I think I'm a bit behind on that. Uh, but I'm still going on with uh, generative AI. And I also checked out Yaya's link that was shared yesterday, and it was very insightful. I think, as you said, like for the most part, we are ready at least to explain our part and our understanding to whoever is hiring us. But uh, at the end of the day, I think uh, it's about getting exposed to that environment. And since we did a lot in short time, I think it won't be you know difficult to get on with our you know uh, work when it comes to the thing we chose. So when it comes to generative AI, I think if we're given the right resources and uh, the right amount of time, I think we'll do good. Uh, so I'm confident about that in that regard. Uh, and when it comes to uh, my proficiencies, I think I did not do much when it comes to week 12 uh, um, with personal results and also some resources might be available, but before week three, I'm planning to work on that part of the project and also to get my GitHub to, you know, sufficient level so that I can apply with confidence. So that's where I am at the moment. Okay, amazing, farewell. Okay, Peter Paswell. Uh, let's move on to the new list in the chat box. Haptamu, Carrot, Lillian, and Magdis. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, yesterday, I spent time thinking about uh, my career path and uh, what skill I need to be good at it. I looked at some materials that helped me understand uh, this better. I also filled out uh, a form to read myself. That form it showed me what I am already good at it and uh, what I need to uh, work on in the future. 
uh, in the case of uh, CV preparation, I looked at the materials uh, provided. Uh, overall, uh, yesterday's activities, uh, uh, I focused on uh, the job uh, path or the, my career path. And uh, 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 I provided uh, valuable clarities in the direction for uh, my professional journey. And also I look, I look to what uh, I must increase my skills in the pursuing my career goals. This is what I did uh, yesterday. Thank you. Okay, amazing. Hope time will keep it up as well. Um, Carrot. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yes. Uh, so yesterday was much of uh, self reflection and looking at looking at why, where I am and where I want to be and where I should be, and that form really helped with that. Um, so yeah, I filled out the form. Uh, and yeah, uh, I had a lot of doubts before filling out the form, but the form really helped clear things out. So I am sticking with uh, JNDP AI, as uh, Aaron said, I don't know if it's uh, uh, GPT filling it out for, for us or we are already doing it. But as for uh, the specific roles, I tried to look at Corbis uh, blog about, uh, I think, around 20 jobs that Generative AI offers. And I I will share it in the resource, and I hope everyone goes through it as well, because it's really insightful. It tells us about the things that we can work as a Generative AI engineer. And as for the CV parts, unfortunately, I have not uh, really started. I have looked at the resources, but I have not started. I have planned it for today to work on the CV. So yeah, that's me. Thank you. Okay, amazing, Carol. Um, good to hear that you did your research and spent your time reflecting. And then came to this decision. Really great. Uh, so looking forward to the feedback from the tweeters to you as well. So yeah, Lillian shared in the chat box. Uh, let's hear from Mekdis Emelat. Hey everyone. Hi. Hi. Uh, my chosen track was uh, is data engineering, and while filling the form. Uh, I know what tools can help me and also help me to complete the job market of data engineering. So the form is really a good self-reflection on my skill and requires to know uh, about the track I choose. So it just gives me insights what is the gap that I have uh, that I need to improve. And also what should I like to work from like the skills that I need to work with. Okay, make this. Uh let's hear from Elliot, then Mikias, then Miscano, and then Mubarak. Yeah, we can hear you. All right. So yesterday I went to the data shared with the preparation and the other ones as well. And I was also like the phone and I ended up choosing the different and uh, uh, I was also able to share my uh I think that you like to also work on them. Uh, apart from that, uh, 
I saw the TV uh, slides. There were uh, two years where we need to do to the bus, but uh, I haven't really started working on my TV um, Melet, I was struggling to hear you on my side. Not sure if anyone heard you properly. So, can you fix the mic and uh, speak up from Barak? Hello? Yeah, I. I spoke everything up. I'm not sure if that's from your side or else. Do you want me to repeat it or? Yeah, but uh, yeah, increase your voice. Oh, is now good? Try again. How about now? Okay. Okay, so today I was able to go to the documents shared. Uh, uh, on the CV preparations, uh, I was also able to put in the form on the career path selection. So I ended up selecting the data engineering uh, career path, and I was able to identify where my weaknesses were. Uh, so uh, I haven't really started preparing my CV, but I've already looked at the slides, and I know what needed and i think i'm gonna be start i'm I, i'm gonna start to so. okay I you heard me this up, this time. yeah we heard yes. you we heard yeah. you this time yeah keep it up as well um let's move on to me kiss good morning everyone can you hear me yes we can Okay, so as most of my peers, I was looking at the form uh, uh, yesterday and it really hit, helped me uh, to choose, I mean, to see what I'm good at and what I should improve. And I went with the generative AI for my path, for my career path. And even though there are some things that I, I need to improve, I think uh, I made a good choice. So I'll be working on that. And other than that, I was going through different CV templates so that I can uh, make an adjustment to my CV. I had, I think we worked on a CV on week zero. So that really helped. Uh, and uh, today I'm hoping to finish my CV. I mean, choosing different templates and I'm hoping to make two or three different CVs and uh, uh, get a suggestion which one is better. So that's what I'm planning to do. This is my progress so far. All right, keep it up, Mikias. And then Miss Gano. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, so yesterday, yeah, I did submit the form. Um, yeah, I've already decided to, to pursue career on January today. So more or less, uh, the form was an assessment to see my weakness and strengths. So one thing I understand uh, compared to others, I think I'm a bit better on Gen, Gen AI. So yeah, I feel like I, I chose the right path. Uh, but uh, even on on the Gen, Gen AI uh, concepts, there are some concepts I need to improve on. So the form uh, helped me identify those concepts. And yeah, hopefully I will, I will work on those concepts on the coming weeks. Yeah, and for my CV, yeah, I haven't started working on my CV. I attended yesterday's uh, CV polishing lecture, and based on that, I will hopefully I will start working on my CV today. Uh, yeah, it had the necessary contents. It had the necessary components, but I need to improve the content of. Uh, my CV. Yeah, that's my update. Thank you. Okay. All right.
Let's continue. Hello, am I audible? Yes, you are. Uh, okay. Yeah, as everyone said, uh, when we fill the form, since we we do more projects on generative AI, uh, when we assess our skill set, it's it also much somehow. And especially for the machine learning part of the generative AI, uh, I lack some uh, skills, so I will improve on that. Uh, uh, yeah, for the CV part, I have uh, uh, made one before, but I will improve it on the list is uh, mentioned on the challenge and also uh, the session we had yesterday with uh, you. Yeah, this is it. All right, Mubarak. Let's continue to radiate Rodolf and then Yvonne. Hello, everyone. Can you hear Hi, me? Bridget. Yes, we can. So yesterday, uh, first I have filled the form and going through the form, it helped to get uh, a good insight about the career paths we have chosen. And also it was useful to assess whether we are technically uh, ready or not. So, uh, and then the CV preparation, I've, uh, I've seen the documents on the CV preparation and I've pointed out some points uh, in my CV that is missing depending on the documents. So I will be working on that today. Thank you. All right, Radiate, Rodolf. Good morning, Pastorin and everyone. Good morning. Um, so yesterday I was I was filling the the form and it was very uh, self reflection time and uh, I feel it and what I realized is I need to work uh, on some of my skills to get ready for the job and. Uh, I started also to work on, on my CV. It's not yet done. I will continue today, and uh, hopefully to to finish at the end of the day. Yeah. So that is my update so far. All right, Rodolf, Yvonne. Good morning, everyone. So about yesterday, yesterday I reflected on the form and yeah, I, I still chose data engineering. And so far, what I'm working on the CV, I watched, okay, I was in the tutorial. I also revisited the slides and I saw that there's a part that my CV is missing. So I am working on that part. That's on me, that's me. Yeah, thank you. Okay, all right, Yvonne, keep it up as well. Um, yeah, I believe we do not have anyone else who haven't shared yet. I was seeing Meron here, but okay, I think she's out. All right, everyone, if we do not have any questions, um, then we can call it a day and get ready for the session. Uh, on the LinkedIn profiling that will be happening in the next 40 minutes, I guess. Yeah, for the announcement, you will be receiving uh, feedbacks from the tutors, Rodas and Arun uh, around your submissions on the your tracks of choice. And that might be today. Yeah, that might be today. So we can still expect it today. Uh, yeah, that is it. And if you haven't submitted it yet and you are here, please go ahead and still submit before they reach out to you. Um, yeah, please go and submit because the deadline was yesterday. 
All right, thank you so much, everyone. Then uh, let's have a great day moving forward. Thank you.